We are at the beginning of 2024. It is March. And today I wanna to share with you guys some new Subaru models that are coming this year and even into the next year. So one of these models that we're gonna be talking about today is coming very soon here in the next few months. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos all on Subaru related topics. So if you enjoy those kinds of videos, consider clicking that subscribe button down below. It's absolutely free. And as always, if you guys have any questions about the details or information I share in this video, leave comments down below. I'll do my best to answer those for you. The first new Subaru model that we need to address is the Subaru truck. There's many people asking me right now, is Subaru going to re-release a pickup truck? There's a huge interest or what appears to be a huge interest in the small pickup truck market. You have the release of the Ford Maverick and vehicles like the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Subaru's previously had a pickup truck. They had the Brat back in the 80s. They had the Baja in the early 2000s. So can Subaru put an all wheel drive system, maybe a turbo four cylinder engine in a pickup truck, something like the size of an Outback or the Subaru Ascent? Well, they probably could, but to answer your question, is Subaru going to be releasing another pickup truck? It is no, Subaru is not releasing another Baja or Brat. They don't have any plans to do this for the future. They are heavily pushing towards vehicles that are either hybrid, they're sticking with their current vehicles like the Outbacks, the Foresters, the Crosstreks, the vehicles they know that sell really well and have a huge market for, it allows them to grow. And that's what people truthfully are after. The, the pickup truck is a very niche type of vehicle. And while some people might find value in this, at the price point that Subaru would probably have to sell it for, it's not something that they are trying to do right now. Just to give you some, some details on some previous stats, when the Baja was out back from 2003 to 2006, that's when it was produced, this vehicle, they expected to sell upwards of about 30,000 units per year. They sold just about 30,000 for the entire, uh, the entire time that the vehicle was produced. So they didn't sell very many of the Baja, it was a huge flop. And so with that, I don't think Subaru has any intentions of getting back into something like that anytime soon. It just started absolutely pouring. So I had to jump in this car, decided to get in one of the new WRXs. There's gonna be some details on that in this video as well. But as far as new Subaru models go, which ones are we going to be seeing a new design this year? One of them is going to be the 2025 model year Subaru Forester that should be arriving at lots here in May or June timeline. So much earlier than the last previous years. With this new model, we're going to have probably a little bit of a higher price point. We don't have price details yet. Of course, those will become available once orders open up. I expect orders to open up here within about a month. So maybe April or end of April timeline is my guess. At the latest, if those cars are truly gonna be arriving May, June, we gotta have at least a month or so to get those orders placed. So I think we're gonna see that as our next timeline. Now, for those who are interested in the Subaru Forester Wilderness trim level, so the Wilderness trim level has been out since 2022. This adds the off-road appearance package as well as all-terrain and performance upgrades. So it has all-terrain tires, the matte black wheels, the longer travel and the suspension, a re-gearing of the transmission. So you have more low end torque when you're climbing hills and things like that. With that, are we gonna see changes in the 2025 Forester as well? There's a lot of new updates coming for the 2025, a new design, new features. This larger touchscreen display is also being added to the 2025 Forester. With the Wilderness trim, however, it's going to be identical to a 2024 Forester Wilderness. So if you're somebody who likes the details on the 2024 Subaru models, but maybe you're not quite ready to purchase one, you do have some time if you're looking for the Forester or if you're willing to be flexible. There's a lot of people who still prefer that smaller touchscreen display and those tactical climate controls. If you're one of those people, you'll still be able to get that on a Subaru Forester Wilderness. That is going to be the last Subaru model you can get those tactical controls on. So if you are interested in it, Now's your time to try to jump on one. And about a month ago, at the beginning of February, I was at the Chicago Auto Show where I covered all of the details on the new 2025 Subaru Forester. I also mentioned in that video that we were going to be getting a Forester hybrid option moving forward. Now, when is that supposed to come out? Well, Subaru has said we should have that a little over a year from now in the 2026 model year. They're going to have a 
hybrid powertrain for the Forester. They also mentioned to me that we are going to have the reintroduction of the Crosstrek hybrid. They had that a few years ago and they're going to now have a Outback hybrid option. Now they didn't specify when the Outback or Crosstrek hybrid options were coming, but they did say that first on the list was going to be that Forester hybrid option. So I know a lot of people are very excited about that. One of our big competitors is the Toyota RAV4 hybrid. So I think this is gonna be interesting to see and a good play on Subaru's part by introducing this hybrid in the Forester next. And speaking of further details on the new Outbacks being released for the 2025 model year, so this year in 24, the new Outback isn't expected to see any changes, but for 2026, we should see a new redesign, potentially even the hybrid powertrain option, as I mentioned before, but they're definitely expecting to see a redesign for the 26 model year, something that looks a little bit bolder, probably resembling a lot like the new redesign of the Forester. So that's probably the way Subaru is going to be headed with the looks of the design of the Outback as well. We don't expect to see any changes for the 25 model year Crosstrek and Impreza. They just did a major redesign for the 2024. So we probably won't see any big changes until 2026 if you're looking at those models. We are going to see some new trim levels for the 2024 WRX and the BRZ. So for the WRX, we're going to see the new trim level called TR stands for, or unofficially stands for tuner ready. This is a play on the previous generation, but unlike the previous generation, this new TR trim level has upgraded interior. So it has the Recaro seats. It's kind of like the last year's 2023 WRX in the GT trim that only came with the automatic sports transmission, but it comes standard with the manual. So this new TR is going to have the manual transmission. I'm not in a TR, by the way, this is a 2020 three Subaru WRX limited trim, but it's going to have the manual transmission, which I think for the WRX is what it should have. It's gonna have the Recaro seats. It's gonna have the larger alloy wheels and it's gonna have the larger Brembo brakes. If you have an opportunity to see this new car when it hits lots, it's impressive to see how little clearance there is between, there's probably a millimeter of clearance between the brake and the spoke of the alloy wheel. It's pretty impressive, but it's got some massive brakes on there, some incredible stopping power. I haven't had an opportunity yet to test drive one, but I would love to do so, maybe get one out on a track. That'd be really fun to experience, but we'll wait and see. I think the improvements we're gonna see with this are gonna be good. No official news yet, but the WRX may see a another trim line added in mid-model year or maybe even next year. Hopefully we get something that resembles or is identical to the previous STI. I know this is something that a lot of people wanna see, but Subaru hasn't made any official statements or details on this yet. I'll be posting about that as soon as I find out. And much like the WRX, the new BRZ TS trim is going to see some upgraded options with upgraded brakes, suspension, overall performance. Not a huge improvement from last model year, but we are seeing some of those subtle improvements moving forward. And last on the list today is everybody's favorite new Subaru, and that is the Subaru Solterra. So the Solterra has had a rough start. It's an all-electric vehicle. It's a first for Subaru. And the all-electric cars for any manufacturer are a tough sell right now because of the charge times. Well, that's one huge improvement that Subaru has made for the new Solterra. So it used to take almost an hour for the DC fast charge to charge up to 80%, which is the max for DC fast charge, if you're unfamiliar. And now they can do it in about 35 minutes. So almost cutting that charge time in half. That's a big thing when it comes to EVs. Even if you're driving around town, daily driving, you can't just stop off at a gas pump. You gotta know where you're gonna be charging it and how much time you can allocate to charge. So if you're traveling it across country, it's, it's a difficult thing to do with an EV. It's much easier with gasoline cars. And that is why it's so difficult to uh, for people to adopt the EV lifestyle. Now, I think moving forward, technology is only gonna get better and we're gonna see more improvements, not just with Subaru, but for the electric cars all over. Right now, it's too early to say what things are going to look like in the next coming years as Subaru rolls out these new trim lines, these new Subaru models, but I'm very excited to see the new hybrids, the new EVs, and even new models that are tried and true, like our Outbacks and our Foresters. 
I hope you guys found some valuable insight in today's video and hopefully it provided some clarity for you on what to come next for new Subaru models. If you did enjoy today's video, before you leave, if you wouldn't mind taking a quick second to click the like button, that means the world to me. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, if you guys have any questions, leave those down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer all those for you. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.